Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Uncle Bogator Congregation. I meant to do this yesterday, but uh, it's been raining a lot since we moved, like a whole lot. And this year has been pretty dry. But you didn't come here for the weather. So how did I mess up? Well, not too hard for me. I mess up often. But in this particular case, uh, we messed up my exhaust. My fault. I'm assuming this video is gonna come out after a video where my wife and I were out riding with the fishtails. And uh, there may have been some times where I caught how it was uh, really crapping out on me. Well, easy, easy mistake. I got the O2 sensors reversed. Mike, how could you be so stupid? Not a question I've asked myself for decades. Well, the white plug was on the top on the stock head pipes where, you know, the, where they come in together right before or at the catalytic converter. And uh, I said, well, okay, well, let's just put this one on the top on this one. Well. Yeah, the top on the other one clearly was the front cylinder and the uh, top with the new duals is the rear. So I've got the front O2 sensor plug on the rear. No, you can't just swap them around. The two plugs are different. They're not just different colors. They're actually shaped different, so they don't go together. So we're going to uh, do what I can uh, to get this fixed today. We had Pedro over here helping us get these things put together. He was putting things on the right way pretty much and I stopped him and I said, no, it goes this way. I know this is how it came off. So totally my bad. Let's get this thing taken apart a little bit so we can get those O2 sensors swapped around. All right, first thing first, take this bag off. Let's take this side panel off, that's the easy part. There we go. Take these plugs out. So I'm pretty sure I got this back. Let me make sure I'm saying that right before I get down in there. You know, I'm just guessing that that's why. That's why it's sputtering on me. Okay. Get those down. I wish I either had a lift or a nice little shop chair to sit on because uh, this kind of sucks sitting on the ground. All right, well, I didn't get it in frame, but um, I already got the, the uh, front one off and we're gonna take a different approach. I don't think I need to take this cover off. I think I need to back it off the cylinder a little bit to get to that rear one. Could be dead wrong. I've been wrong before. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't film all that. I was just cursing and getting mad, but uh, this has been way more involved than I envisioned. So what we've done is we've loosened up the exhaust all around. This center bolt here that was holding it was giving me a fit. So now this is backed up just a hair. Should be able to, should. Reach this in here. Yep. Oh boy, moral of the story here, fellas, is uh, don't make a mistake, because <laughs> it'll cost you. Good news, oh my God, I'm so happy with that. Good freaking news. I've got this things unplugged already. That way the wires don't get twisted up on themselves. All right, now let's go ahead and, this is the front one, this is the white one. This is what goes in the front. Don't be like me and mess up, all right, that easy. Just don't make a mistake. Now I did uncover a couple problems while we were in here. This bolt that goes in the center bracket, this guy, now nah, one of them, missing the nut, rear exhaust nuts missing, a couple clamps weren't tightened down at all. All right, what I wanna do is I actually wanna fix this clamp while we're in here if I can. Now there is a wrench specifically designed for these O2 sensors. Sounds like they might be on back order a few weeks out or something. That would have made life a hell of a lot easier because it's thin, it's already uh, angled to maximize this little hole here. All right, ended up bringing my 17 year old son in here. I actually should have filmed that little father and son time. You guys never really see him on camera. But uh, basically I needed him to hold this exhaust up unilaterally and move it so I could get that. There's a center bolt in there, like on the, on the rear end of the frame. Uh, I had to get that all lined up. Now we're gonna get everything else tightened back together. I don't need to film everything. And then the proof is gonna be in the pudding when we take it for a ride. All right, boys. Uh, I don't even know how long it's been since we left off with uh, putting the O2 sensors back in their rightful spot. And I've only ridden sweet cherry pie, dos pistoles, once uh, since that day. We did put uh, two new batteries in on the bikes. Well, not two batteries each. New batteries in. We haven't 
ridden together. Well, we went up to the bike night two miles away, but we haven't ridden together in like, well, since before Christmas, because we had family come in and uh, I'll wait till we get on a road that uh, is not going to piss off my neighbors before I let you guys hear it. But uh, yeah, we fixed it, man. I'm happy as a pig in shit over that. Yeah, riding's one of those things where we, uh, my wife and I really connected over that. We haven't done it in a few weeks, so it's nice to get back out. Are you cold back there, baby? Not yet. <laughs> I know yeah. I'll be chilled, though. I'm pretty sure you will be. All right. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, that sounds good, don't it? Does it sound better back there to you? Well, I only hear mine, so. <laughs> hers is a lot louder, but to be fair, hers are straight pipes. They're so big radius. Manson Hines, big radius. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you got to have this amount of back pressure, blah, blah. I'm in the camp. I'm in, uh, This is going to start a war. But I'm in the camp that uh, back pressure is uh, overrated, and um, you don't need it. There, there's plenty of article. I mean, obviously the the old train of thought is that you got to have back pressure. But man, there's a lot of good articles out there on why that's a myth. Yeah, you guys heard me bitch all summer about how hot it was and dry it was. We never got any rain. Hotter than two rats fucked in a wool sock all summer long because of how dry it was. Well, we're paying that tax now. This has been the gloomiest last two months. It's been the coldest. Cold, cold. Get your Cheeto fingers off the keyboard. Florida coldest. Usually it doesn't get down to the 40s until like late January, early February. And it only lasts till like the end of February, maybe early March. This time, no, nah, we've been in the 40s pretty much nonstop for the last, I don't know, five weeks or so. It's been brutal for Floridians. Floridian brutal. If you're here for the O2 sensor fix, whatever, I mean, I don't know why you click on it, but uh, that, that part's over. It's fixed. Uh, I would like a better tune on it at some point. Uh, for a little bit there, I thought I was that it was the tune that was the problem, and I was going to have to do a tune whether I wanted to or not. And I really didn't want that expense. I don't know. I just started poking around on the interwebs. And something caught my eye. And I, I thought back to when me and Pedro, well, when Pedro was putting these things on, how I had them swap the O2 sensors, and we had them right the first time. So, spent those few hours that day, earlier in the video, put them back in the right place, man. We're smooth fucking sailing. But I do think that's Screaming Eagle tuner, we're missing out on a not just a lot of power, but efficiency if I want it as well. Because tunes don't just give you power. They make your engine run the most efficient that it possibly can within certain parameters, right? Today we're going to go over to Daytona Harley-Davidson or uh, Teddy Morse's de Destination. I don't know. There's a whole lot of shit going on in the title. Uh, and we have a straight shot. It went over towards Daytona and then up I-95, but... Why the hell would I intentionally take myself to an interstate when I have all these beautiful roads back here? These straight Florida roads. So we're going to head up uh, Highway 11 to a town called Bunnell, back down to Destination Daytona, which is a whole thing. I mean, I don't know what's going on. You got the dealership. You got a biker leather shop. You got a cigar shop, restaurant, barbecue place, whatever. But the most important thing is that I'm going to drink beer. So... <laughs> Well, look at her with her biker mama hairdo right there. Whip that thing out, baby. Flop it around a little bit. Look at that. Woo, hell yeah. Whip me, beat me, call me daddy. Yeah, old Teddy Morse, uh, Daytona Harley Davidson. They got a little bit of everything. It's a destination Daytona. So you got the Harley shop, you got a bar, you got a cigar shop, famous ice cream that I've never heard of. There's a, a biker shop over there. I don't know if that's where you buy bikers or what's going on. Uh, but then something I guess I should have noticed and remembered all this time, there's a JP Cycle store over here. I've never once been to an actual JP. I've been ordering stuff from JP Cycles for as long as I've been around motorcycles, but I've never been to an actual store. So first, rub and beer. Yeah, we're gonna try this pub out. It smells fucking great. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Miller High Life is the official 
beer for the state of Florida. Everywhere I've ever been around the country, nobody has it. But it seems like every bar, at least on the East Coast, has it. And they had it at the Shane. So I'm telling you what, man, that's the official state beer for it. High Life Miller, sponsor me. Come on. All right, here we go. I can't hold the camera and give you guys a full and thorough review, but Bo Mama can. Look at that. What's the verdict? Is it good? Or is it? Superb. So you guys heard it here first. Uncle Bo Gator got a French dip. Hell yeah. Music's about to start. Not going to film too much more out here because uh, I get a little loud, but know that we're in good hands. All right, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, pretty sure Uncle Bo Mama has been here before because just like her, please use the front entrance. No back door access allowed, baby. What? You say I'm stupid. You hear that? I'm so mistreated. You guys don't hear a lot about husband abuse in the world, but this is definitely. Now it's time to head into uh, Teddy Morse. This is the biggest, goofiest Harley Davidson. You can come here and get a haircut if you want. Not sure how many times you're in the motorcycle shop. And you're like, you know, I really could go for a fucking haircut right now, but this is the spot to do it. Let's see inside. This is a massive, massive dealership. I'm sure both times a year that Daytona is busy, it pays off, but the rest of the time it's like this. Ain't nothing going on in here. Ready to go look for some uh, clearance? You need some clearance shirts. Let's go, boy. All right, here's another travesty. You guys know how I feel about the V. It don't belong on anything but a Road King. That is so fucking dumb. Get that shit off your bikes, Harley Davids. I will say that I do like it when dealers have classic bikes on display, even if they're not for sale. It's just fun to look at. 1947 FL. This is pre-FLH, FLT, all that bullshit. Look at that knucklehead, man. I wonder when the last time this thing ran was. You got your pan head, 1950 FL. Love it. 55, man, sharp, baby. FLH, now we start to get into the pre-Road King days, FLH. Everything is based off this FL and FLH model that we have today. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Look at that big old honking seat, though. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Absolutely love it. Apparently, Teddy Morris keeps all their used bikes up here on the second floor. Fine. Uh, all the new bikes are downstairs. Quite a, quite a diverse old population motorcycle here. You're looking to buy one. Obviously, walking in here, I get hammered by a couple of salespeople as soon as we walk in. I don't want to be rude because they used to work at a Harley Davidson dealership, and I know what it's like, but it's like, come on, man. I'm just looking around, bud. Well, I didn't film any inside, but yeah, isn't that cool, man? A whole ass JMP Cycles store. I uh, wasn't impressed. I did get a t shirt. <laughs> yeah, we went in there just like going into cycle gear, but it's like, as big as this place is, there wasn't any more stuff. It was the same amount of stuff, just more spread out. Not that I was, well, I was actually looking for something in particular. I was looking for a new vest. I think I'm gonna move away from denim and go to leather, so that way I can bitch about how hot my tits are in the summertime. But yeah, very, very slim selection. They had uh, one, pretty much one vest in there. That was more than I wanted to spend. You have a hard time over there? I didn't do anything. Good Lord have mercy. <laughs> Jesus. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the coast, ride down A1A just a smidge, hit up Froggies. I I'm pretty sure that's my favorite spot right now. Hey, guess what we get to do? A U turn. A U turn. That's right. Uh, U turns are the most selfless turns of them all. They could be me turns, but no, they're you turns. Man, I love the East Coast of Florida. I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret here. You guys got the, uh, you guys got the had a couple beers, Bogator. Um, I, I did envision when we moved over here. I did envision a lot more motorcycle riding, a lot more exploring out with her or whatever. And I don't know. I think it's just like taking years worth of load off. I, we don't we don't do much. We just kind of sit around. I don't know. Are you happy with that, baby? I'm perfectly happy with that. It seems very, it's very low key, very chill. Good. That was a risk. You're supposed to not ever ask a question that you don't already know the answer to, but I asked it anyway because I was curious. But yeah, I've been a lot happier with just sitting there than I thought I would be. We're not duds. I mean, we do shit. She has a job. I'm working on getting a business going. I'll talk to you guys more about that, you know, in an upcoming video. 
Uh, but like in the evenings, no, I mean, we watch, I'll say Netflix. We actually don't have Netflix. I think it's an overpriced. I'm going to sit around and watch Netflix or football and hang out with a grandkid or maybe I'll edit a video or play a video game, whatever, you know. And then every now and then, yeah, we'll get out and ride. Motorcycles are um, are an important part of my life, but they're not my life, if that makes, if that makes sense. They say life is what happens when you're busy making plans. We were on our way to the beach and then head over to Daytona and we saw Iron Horse Saloon. Buddy, it is absolutely packed out here. So we decided, you know what, fuck it. Let's just stop here, only a couple miles away from where we were. We'll get around to doing what we're doing eventually, but look at this spot. I feel like this is probably one of the most happening spots in the world during bike week. Just by the way it's laid out and what it looks like. I wouldn't know, never been to bike week, but we're gonna get in here. Look, my old lady's already picking up some Hell yeah, baby, hell yeah. Okay, so just by sheer coincidence, we happened to come in here during a, uh, can, we, can we zoom or focus? There we go, Marjorie Taylor Green Rally. <laughs> Had no idea this was going on. Move, dude. So uh, actually, you know, what's funny is my wife actually figured it out, pointed it out. So uh, I didn't know she was up on her uh, Republican Congress people. So, oh, and I would be uh, remiss if I didn't point out that once again, once again, East Coast Florida bars do not disappoint. Every bar that we've been to is living the high life, baby. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap this one up. Thanks for coming along. That was fun, man, doing a little bit of maintenance. At the beginning, some writing uh, there for the second half of the video. Always great to get out with the wife and go ride around. Hey, real quick, I got, uh, we got five, five total Swamp King shirts left. Uh, just 2X, 3X, and 4X. There's uh, only one 4X, I believe, and a couple others. Uh, two of the 2X and two of the 3X or something like that. Anyway, go check it out if you still want one. Five total, that's it. And then I want to announce that I have gotten my hands on some of these. There's a couple of you out there, not many, a couple of you out there that said, hey man, if you ever get those things in and want to sell them, I'll buy one. So uh, it took me a while to find them, but I found some. I don't have many, I've just got a few. I already had three sold on the announcement that I made on the post and the Instagram post. But uh, yeah, if you want to be like your old Uncle Bogator, wear yourself a little tooth. Uh, go check it out on unclebogator.com. So yeah, thanks for coming along for this video and all videos. And until next time, see you later.